everybody, what's up? It's Mayor and Reagan. Hi, I'm Reagan. I'm Mayor. And uh, we're here to show you some footage from the PAX Prime 2014 N++ tournament that we just held. So here's a photo of all the participants. Our finalists were amazing. We're just going to show you the quarterfinals, semifinals, and final finals because that is all that we have time for. It was really long. This Let's is the first tournament we'd ever run. Uh, and it didn't go super smoothly, but we thought it ended up pretty well. So we're just going to... Uh, since we didn't get any crowd audio, kind of narrate the goings on. That's right. So get ready for just us commenting on this tournament. Yeah. Uh, next time it'll be Matthew Kumar, hopefully. Yeah, we've got plans for um, better commentators, but Matthew is out of the country right now, so there's nothing yeah. we can do. You're stuck with us. It was That's for a good okay. Cause. We'll tell you what happened during the tournament, and hopefully it will be very entertaining. Yeah. So, anyways, first of all, we'd like to thank everyone who played. Uh, we are not showing the qualifiers, but there are some really great matches there. Yeah, it was really, really awesome to see so many people do so well. Super exciting. Uh, we learned a lot about tournaments, and the next one will be far more smooth. Yes. So that's good. So, um, all right, shall we get into the first quarterfinal right. match then? Yes, the quarterfinal four-player. Uh, it's Rob, Ajabo, Cyber, and Draken. Right, so... Four player was how we thought it would work best. Chaotic. All right, Alien Visage, <laughs> the first <laughs> level. Early deaths. There's a a secret quick ending to this level if you can just jump around that middle part, but it's almost impossible to pull off. Looks like no one does. Oh, Pink got the rocket. But they sort of killed it immediately. Uh, it's really hard to get used to that rocket. Oh, the yellow one up the middle. Interesting. Okay, so now it's sudden death. Oh, oh yeah. Pink. Oh, purple rocket. Oh. oh. Uh. Pink hit the exit, so it's sudden death immediately, and you just get one more shot. <clears throat> Thrilling. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when they start getting good with those rockets. I know. I can't wait to see that. It's, uh, some people are almost there right now, even with just like a few hours of practice. Okay, second level, Mutant Crab Hulk, one of my favorite names. Very funny. I wonder if anyone... Oh, two people going for the gold. Oh. Looks like <laughs> only, okay. only purple made it. Oh, that's so okay. And, oh, it's, it's like sudden death. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so close. Almost. Oh. Purple's getting dangerous nice. with the rocket. Yellow overtakes blue. Yeah, that was quite a quite a start. All right, this level it's a bit bit sneaky, bit tricky. There's only a certain short window of opportunity to move before the lasers sort of put a kibosh on the whole floor area. These laser turrets are a new variant for N plus plus. There were laser turrets like this in N plus, but we've added a couple of different. Uh, they can do a few new things, so... A few new tricks. Yeah, that's what you're This didn't a, really aim very well. A really good level for the rocket, too. The ninjas are pretty trapped, Ooh. and... Well, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. This game is pretty close, though. It's nice. It's, it was very tense when it was actually going down, I mean, too. Tr Jokin is pretty far in the lead, actually, now that I look at it, but... Aside from that, though. There's enough gold left that anyone could win it still. Yeah, we tried to design the episodes that way so that it lead to more thrilling finales. Not if Draken keeps getting it like that. I know. Yes, so, I've been calling him purple, but these, these people have names. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Wow, it's, it's rockety out there. Look at Cyber. Whoa. Wow. Those rockets, are, they really want to kill that guy. <laughs> Sadly, unsuccessful. <laughs> it was a good effort, though. Nice well, try, everybody Rockets. Everybody finished that one. That's impressive. Okay, so I still think anyone could win it if they managed to get all that gold, but unfortunately, people just suck at this level. Well, I mean, it's a pretty difficult level to get there. It's just a jerk. It's the level to wait for. Uh, <laughs> I think this might be our. We might see it go to you suck. Mode. I think we do, yeah. Oh. I, mean, I remember how this one ended because though the tournament was really, really hectic and we were both doing a lot and Sean was too while we tried to run it, um, 
this one went on for so long. I think I got a, a good glimpse of what was happening. Or what happened. Oh, uh, just people really dying a lot. <laughs> it's weird. They can't even get past the first little area. The timing is really precise, though. Yeah, I think the one... We gotta do a better job of explaining to these. One trick is... Everyone is jumping here before they fall through the drones, right. but you don't have to jump. All you need to do is put, yes, like, Rob gets it. Rob, Rob knows what it's all about. You don't have to jump all the time. Sometimes just not jumping is what's required. Yeah, That's, just, I like, mean, there's, off the wall gently. Yeah, there's a jump button. There's no not jump button, but you gotta think sometimes. Maybe not jump is the action that should be taking us. Which, I mean, it's a complicated thing to think about, considering there is no not jump button. But. Yeah. That's a good oh. Yes, that's true. So there actually are kind of four buttons. Left and right, jump, and then the button in your mind, not yeah, jump. The timing button. Yeah. I think that's the the critical thing is timing. Yeah, definitely. Alright, back to the game. Okay, so oh, by the way, this is the pale color scheme. We thought that the colors oh, yes. worked really well for the tournament. There's a lot of contrast between all four ninjas, so you're sure who you are at all times. You can see everybody against that light background. It does kind of look like N and N plus. I swear, all the new color schemes do not look like this. It actually N plus plus is gonna have about 12, maybe. Who knows? Maybe a few more. We're not finished the color schemes yet. Oh, but anyway. Oh, wait. Sorry, we're just gonna have to time out on the color schemes because you suck mode has been activated. Now, this is a mode that legend has it. I went out to get lunch. And then when I came back, Mare and Sean had made the game a lot better. Yes, we invented you suck mode. So why don't you explain what that is? Uh, basically, once a certain amount of time has elapsed and no one has beaten the level, you suck mode is activated, at which point one enemy will be deleted every second until there are no more enemies. And also, it's first to the exit is the only person that gets anything. Everyone else blows up. As There we go. Looks like a J-Bo. Just demonstrated that. Abo really demonstrated you suck mode quite admirably. Our initial plan was to run rounds of four all the way through to the finals. However, since one of the controllers was acting up, changed to one on one. King of Defeat versus Verador. Here we go. King of Defeat will be purple. Maybe? I, I don't remember. No! no! Hey, it was hey, Fair King of is pink. Alright, King of the Beast is pink. Fair is purple. Tournament N++. Alright, so this is the level all about precision jumps personship. Uh, the gold, there's not quite enough to make it necessary or super tempting, but it's really all about incredibly precise jumps. It looks, yeah. they're making it look very easy, but... It's actually quite hard to get to that Please, please believe us. This... The it's fact that they easy. haven't died about 30 times by now is it's amazing. It's a testament to their skill, yeah. really. These, they might be better than us, because we tend to die all the time on this level. Some of the players had played N or N plus or both before. Some were entirely new to N plus plus and just kind of practiced on their qualifier days and came back and trained some more for the finale, but generally everyone got pretty great by the end of, of a few short hours. Oh, King of Defeat takes the first uh, one. Oh, this is an episode, by the way, made up of five levels. Yes, each, uh, each round in the tournament is, it's, we're playing episodes, not individual levels, so yeah, set of five. Um, also, you may have seen, uh, I believe, Ferrador went for some of the gold there. Yeah. So that, like, well, the way that the rules work is that as soon as sudden death mode is active, your score starts ticking down. So normally, before anyone's hit the exit, gold is sort of okay to get. I mean, there's like a, you're using some time to get it, and there's a risk that you'll die, but it doesn't actually cost you anything. However, during sudden death mode, since time is ticking away, sometimes doesn't make sense to always necessarily go for the gold yeah, you just want to run into the, the exit. It's a difference that we um, we wanted to give you strategic moments like that where you have to think about what, what the best play for oh. you is and maybe that has an impact on who wins. This oh, is good. Oh, oh, okay, that so quite a dramatic match. That was a really nice kind of sprint. Oh, but he managed to die before the other player had hit the exit. 
So yeah, so King of Defeat gets another chance to maybe walk away with some points. So this is interesting. Keeping him in front of Verador. It's hard to say how this will impact the race because there's a fair amount of space left and no gold. And as you can see, his timer is slowly ticking. Oh. Still worth it, I think. Look, Verador's oh, catching up. Yeah. So the way that scoring works, you'll see that there's a little bonuses that grew on their bars just then. Uh, each level you start with a bit of a bonus. It's like proportional to the, the empty space of the score bar, if that makes any sense. Uh, and you're trying to hit the exit to cash that in to get points. And gold can increase the bonus that you would get, but you absolutely have to hit that exit if you want to get anything. Alive. Sometimes your body will alive. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We'll hit the exit. You can hit count. the exit, but yeah. You have to be alive still. Oh. oh. King of Defeat. Well, he nailed the landing. Oh. oh really close. There is often a route down along the bottom. Once one or two people have died, I guess that's a big difference, like two player versus four player. Four player, more of the mines have usually been cleared out, so you can really start taking shortcuts, whereas with two player, it's a lot stricter. That's oh. true, yeah. Oh, wow. Everybody... Yeah, that was, they were really neck and neck there. <laughs> it's like they were playing co op for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, we also tried to think about how we could design levels that would. Suit race. Um, race. Oh. Oh man. Yeah. So race okay. is really different from co-op and single player um, because of the different people playing it, and you want to have many different strategies people can employ. It's really interesting. All right. I believe at this point the crowd was chanting to get the gold. <laughs> that no one understood what the gold strategy was, but the the fact is that gold is a trap. We're not really going to explain how it's a trap, but. Perhaps let's yeah. Out. Let's just say that it's a good king of defeat. Really understands this game well because many people would have just jumped and tried to get all the gold, and that would have been a grave error. Yeah, especially at this point in the tournament where yeah. a lot well, was on the line. This is a tricky jump. I remember this part. Everybody was yeah. tense. There was almost it's no sound. Oh, and then everyone exploded. Yeah. In. Again, Woo! we're going to try to have, um, in future, perhaps, the button states shown by the ninjas, because it's really hard to understand exactly how difficult that sort of dexterity is. Yeah, when you're watching like this, you might they, not they, really know what yeah. people are actually doing. They're making it look very easy, but in fact, it is very not easy. <laughs> but this one is reasonably easy. Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a totally not scripted segue somehow. It wasn't scripted. I know, that's why I said it wasn't it scripted. very sarcastic. It wasn't. Oh. oh. That was... All right. That was an interesting... And King game. of Defeat wins and advances into the semifinals. That was a good match, though. Yeah, really exciting. Also, Verador was dressed as Mario from the series of the same... Oh, game. yes, he was, was cosplaying exciting. with his daughter, who I believe was Princess Peach. That's right. Super yeah. cute. Very cute. Okay, All right. so, sorry, this is Solo Legions versus Casual Friday. Second matchup. Fail safes that derail fakes. And where does that level name come from? I believe it's a Del the Funky Homo Sapien. I was going to say, lyric. it sounds like that. Casual Friday oh. was kind of a jerk there by turning yeah. on all that, those toggle mines. There's the the toggle mines really really let you sort of become part level designer and right. in that it's somewhat asshole. sadistic. Well, yeah. th that goes with the level designing role oh, in this game. Mean. Yeah, but uh, there. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah, oh, he's boy. up to his usual toggly. Oh. oh, it can be like th what just happened there. I think was psychological. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. When you see too. someone throw a bunch of toggles in your face, Instantly, it can yeah, you're it can, like oh great. Really mess with your mojo. Yeah, it can. Oh, yeah. That was a... It's tricky to jump out of toggles like that. Sometimes you can't quite pull it off. But it looks like the to ending toggles... I mean, Casual Friday's wearing them down gradually. Yep. Oh, right. I remember this match. Yeah, these levels were too hard. I apologize. We have to say, the, some of the tournament levels, pretty hard. Well, I mean, it's a tournament. We, we kind oh, of yeah, we're, we're going to gonna, hard, we're gonna throw crazy stuff. But, yeah. But, see how they 
see how they take it. I feel like we should have saved this one. I gotta say it. though, like all the finalists handled this stuff like champs. Yeah. They did not. No one rage any quit kind of or threw exactly, anything. Yeah. I mean, I did. I did hear a couple of people seemed quite upset when they died, but um, it was it was. All right. Uh, so, nice rocket oh, work. he finally made it up there. Yeah. So, it looks like Soul Allegiance could never really got the hang of that starting part, which is understandable because that is, I mean, it's tough. Again, the timing is really tough. Really hard to tell because they make it look so easy. But uh, so here's one rule that uh, Soul Allegiance learned. In race, it tends not to work if you just run straight out of the gate. Every once in a while, there's an awesome window if you just blindly try that, but usually there's going to get a laser in the face like happened at the start of this level. Yep. Something to keep in mind. Oh. So this one, it's hard to say if the gold is worth it in this one. It really depends how even the match is. If, if both players had... Oh, for it. oh, there, oh, that, nice. that's a good, there's a, there's a safer way if you take the platforms all the way, but that shortcut is really good. Oh, oh very, still. very good try. Casual Friday's rattled and he screws the timing up and whoa, oh. that was, I don't oh, know. Oh, I love the way his, his corpse is hanging there. <laughs> it's very dramatic and poetic. Yeah. But I don't know, that seemed a bit shallow to die from falling. I think because he jumped up first. Oh, why did he jump? I hope that's not a I bug. Know. It's not a bug. That looks All right. Cool. All right. So ex as we were saying, this game is hard, and some of these levels are semi-intended to like they're sort of designed maybe around you suck mode. In that advanced players can totally play this one like a regular level, but typically for less advanced players, it's more of a survival type. Get gold and try to get there, but usually you wait. I mean, personally, I. I wait for you suck mode to kick in before I seriously start trying on this one, because otherwise it's too heartbreaking. Because you're you'll get halfway. I know. I've, I was just yeah. gonna say I, I get to the middle and then yeah. everything seems fine. I think I can make I get almost to the exit. Of course, the exit is real. Oh yeah, that that one pattern. I don't know how to say this without swearing. So oh I yeah. Just oh, you mean those mines? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those I, mines. Is that a spoiler alert? Maybe that's a spoiler alert. Oh, come Anyways, on, just look at the level. You can yeah. tell that's gonna be a tricky jump. But. The drones in like particular, it's it's hard to keep track of all those things. It is. Uh, there's a phenomenon that we've grown to call drone blindness over the years, where you just can't see them. And, oh. oh, sorry, no. solo legions. You need to be having quite a bit of horizontal momentum to jump into that exit cleanly with those mines there. It's, Which, given all these drones, oh, is yeah. a hell of a it's, feat. It's sort of the last twist of the knife, yeah. as it were. Yeah, it's really... Back to that point about level designers being assholes. Um, yeah. What were you just talking about? Drone blindness. Oh yes, they kind of hypnotize you. Yeah, they do, and you can't really see them anymore, even though there they are, you know, all doing the exact same thing, following consistent patterns, but you just lose sight of them somehow. It's really weird. Yeah, but... Uh, conversely, there's also a weird kind of trance-like state you can develop where your your mind is a bit defocused and you're looking around and oh, oh you suck, you suck mode. mode is activated. Anyways, basically, drone blindness can be a, a pro and a con. You just can't let them win ultimately. That's true. Anyways, you suck mode. So now this is where, frankly, the game begins for those of us who aren't good enough to just run straight through this level. Yes. Which I'm, I really look, hope in about a year someone's figured out a oh, route for this. Vastly easier now. I'm excited to see how... Me how too. That's going to be really great. Um, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most about N++ is being able to see people's oh, uh, replays. Oh! Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Oh, that was so crazy. Wow, that was an amazing come from behind by Casual Friday who's now in the lead. And Pink did have an assist there because uh, Solo Legion's corpse took out a lot of those mines, but wow. Wow. Okay, so this, uh, I'm not going to read this level name because I find it embarrassing. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This, it was really late. <sighs> Means no worries. <laughs> oh, oh. It's, 
it's actually physically painful. Anyways, we're gonna have to add more gold to this level to make it worth going down there because it is incredibly, incredibly dangerous. Yeah. And it should be incredibly lucrative if you manage to pull it up. Anyways, Soul Allegiance. Oh, keeps keeps the missile alive. That was a very nice move. Oh, oh and that. That's that, keeping the ground like that. That was an tricky. amazing tight corner. That pulling oh. into a one tile gap is the hardest thing you can do in those rockets. Yep. Yeah. That was really, really well done. One thing... You could also have just yeah, gone right through but the one ways. But it's hard to know. Yeah, no one... At this point, the person other than us with the most experience playing N++ had played Whoops. for maybe oh. an hour. So no one really understands the finer nuances of what the rocket will collide with. Or not collide with that somewhere. Super close game. Casual Friday just ran out of bonus time there. Ah, uh, yes. So yeah. once Sudden Death Mode is activated by the first ninja hitting the exit, your bonus is going to tick down, and as you can see, the way that the bonus mechanics work is the better you're doing, and the later in the episode it is, the less time you're going to have to make it to the exit before your, your timer runs out. Oh, oh, yep, yeah. oh, that's too bad. It can be really hard to recover. And you overcorrect all the time. Yes, we should point out that the quote-unquote physics oh. of the rocket steering are every bit as difficult to master as the ninja movement in this game. So when you see rockets crash like... They're drunk and out of control cars. Believe me, it is hard. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, that was an excellent comeback by Solo Legions. Amazing, wonderful work. Yeah, he was, he really pulled through after, wow. Yeah, an early loss there. Yeah. All right. Okay, so next up we have, uh, what do we have? Ah, uh, yes, the semifinals. All right. We Those know. menus are hideous. We apologize. This color scheme, we've work. only in worked game, on the in-game in -game part. In-game is great. Menus uh, need work. The problem is we just picked the one that looked best in-game in terms of like how clear it was. What, yeah, like this is one of the most functional skins that we have in there. We're going to have the original skin, of course. But. Okay, so early lead by J-Bo wow. finishes that level in record time. That's nice. But anyways... Sorry about this menus. Please ignore them. Yeah, there's a lot to be done still, but um, let's just say we're super, super happy with how this is going. It's going to be great when it's done. All right, so this level is called oh. Ram Towers, which is... Yes, uh, that's a shout out to our friend Rich Amtower. Or, or Ram Tower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's awesome. Some people call him that. Um, mm. All right, Draken coming. So he started off at a deficit, but with all that gold, he stands to be in the lead if he can just make it to that exit alive. Which he's looking to do. Oh, he wasted a bit of time trying to hit that toggle, and but now that floor chaser. Oh, whoa! Oh, 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 oh! That oh, was really close. They both made it. What that little explosion you saw was a J-Bo's rocket crashing. Now it's technically possible to turn the rocket in that tight accord the rockets start moving upwards but it looks like it's i mean very, it's very really hard yeah. we find it quite difficult the timing is tricky anyway sorry residual momentum hazards so in this this level is all about inertia and as you can see how too much in the case of draken or not enough in the case of a jbo inertia can really be a problem in this game yeah oh also we like to title levels sometimes it's a hint uh, as to the contents of the level, or the experience you might find in the level. Yes. Anyway. Oh! 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 oh. oh. That's to gotta be upsetting for Draken, because now he's in sudden death, there's a rocket on him. He's... It, oh! And, uh, j, -Bo <laughs> j -Bo being very him. strategic. Now, I, I just want the record to state that Sean McGrath actually invented... Wow. I don't know what we called that, the jerk rocket? The rocket circling? I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. But anyways... It looks like a J Bo's a fan oh. and oh. It's, a, I mean, good it's a controversial. It's very strategic. I mean we expect to see this sort of thing in competitive play. Yeah. But it's not gonna win any friends. We'll just <laughs> we'll just true. say that. That's a very good point, Regans. This is I mean, this is sort of one of the things why we think local multiplayer is what it's all about. Exactly. Is that I mean we already call it French event and co op. What is Grace gonna do for you? Well, it? shoulders will be sore from yeah. punching if Repeated you punches. if you're if you're too jerky with the toggles of the rockets. Let's put it that Expected. way. Okay, so Steve Warfare. Steve? Right, isn't Steve? It? Steve? Steve Warfare? I don't know. How do you spell siege? 
Oh, uh, yeah. Um. Uh, I always get I before you wrong. Anyways, looks like, okay, Draken. Wow. wow. Far, so far ahead. Draken, of course, is a fan of the first version of N, so he's very familiar with the physics of those bounce blocks. Oh. However. And he seems to have picked that rocket up quickly. I know. Also. I, um, All right. Oh, and he now he takes the lead for the last level. Yeah, this is very oh, exciting. and this is this one is of those. Tough. This is one of those grinders. This is a you suck mode, four times out of five, due to its. It's. I mean, any two or three seconds of it are trivial, but when you try to oh, chain wow. together. 20 of those segments without any mistakes. It can be quite grueling. And here, that little, the way the draws turn the corner there at the bottom where oh. the, the pink ninja was and where purple is right now, it's tricky. I mean, you expect them to go right up that channel, but then they don't. And sometimes I can throw you off, as I think we just saw. Yeah. <laughs> also, Draken was getting all those toggle mines. That's right. Kind of was, a jerk thing to do. But. Oh yes. Oh, we should we should mention that. Oh, oh and there we on. go. There's Look more strategic that. play. I mean, that's just oh, that's, that's the will of a champion right there. Him. Yeah. That's well. I mean, that's that and that's just karma. That's what happens. <laughs> that's true. It's a fair game. Oh, but, uh, I've seen that move before. We, we should said mention. It before. Yeah. Sorry. Just going right through. It works yeah. sometimes, but you got to be quick on. Uh, you anyway, do. I, I'm sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to point out that we failed to mention the semifinals. We decided. Uh, just to be more fair, would be a that's two out of three. Also, well, it's a bit more dramatic that. that way. We would have done that for everything, but we were already using, like, it took several hours to run this thing, so uh, we didn't want it to be overly long. Next time, perhaps we'll have more boost and we can get through more. Anyways, the point is, if Draken wins this, which he is looking to do, if he can just make it to the exit, then he is... He's, he's up one game, but it's a best two out of three in the semis here. Oh, oh, and he's down again. I wonder... In the, in the last third. That's exactly where he died before, and that actually, you know, psychologically... Exactly, yeah, yeah, it gets in your head, and you're like, even if you aren't thinking it, it's, it's in there unconsciously, and it really affects how you play. It's crazy. You need ironclad nerves of steel. Oh, okay, new suck mode is active. All right, now this is where this is where it becomes a bit more interesting in that if you die, quite often the level is thinned out so far in front of your opponent that there's no chance of catching up. And of course, as soon as anyone hits the exit in new suck mode, everyone else explodes. So, and it's the Draken got really lucky. The deleting the enemies happens randomly currently, and the whole cluster was deleted right in the front in front of everyone. Yeah. Which well, gives it a big advantage to Draken because oh oh, oh no because Jabo was off. stuck in traffic that's worked okay so Jabo if he takes all this gold it, he might actually win this well this is really close if Draken he's rushing and there's it's th oh, oh no wow oh my God, that that was like, dramatic that's amazing. I can't I totally forgot that that happened amazing a Jabo thanks to you suck mode and collecting all that gold. Manages to come from behind and take it. All right, so it's a J-Bo up one game to nothing. Best two out of three. And plus plus packs semifinals. A J-Bo versus Draken. And, oh, this is quite a difficult, quite a difficult level. Uh, I mean, this starting part. <laughs> if, well, yeah. if enough people don't die to keep it nice and thin, then that, I mean, you can get stuck there for quite a while. And anyways, this is uh, out of the race. So this is a callback. Maybe you want to explain that. No, no, go ahead. All right. Well, there's levels in N plus, and I believe in the original N. I think so. Yeah. Uh, called out of the out of the blue. Yeah. Which, in which we hide those drones behind those they bounce. They are some blocks. of my favorite levels. I just think that this. I mean, it's when you're up against these things and you don't know where they're coming from or when it's, when they're gonna pop out of these little channels. I don't know. It's terrifying. It's really exciting. I love. Just visually how they look, they're hiding in their little tunnels. Oh, I just love everything about these. You know, we could make the drones a bit smaller to make them fit behind bounce balls. Yeah, we've talked about that. All right. So, uh, as you can... Oh, all okay, oh, so oh, right. The Jabo is right at the end. Now, this, there's almost no window. Wow, and he That's makes beautiful. it. So, Amazing. Draken is in sudden death, and his and timer is ticking down. The Jabo's rocket is coming down the pipe. Oh, okay. Oh. And there was nothing Draken could do at that point. He yeah. was out of floor space. 
Yep. There was the only way it was forward, and Ajabo managed. He's really got the hang of those rockets. That's impressive. That could be a decisive factor in these tournaments, which is a new thing. Yeah, this like, is I mean, really exciting for us because this is all completely new. This is the first time we've ever seen these rules employed in competitive play. Obviously, we've tested them in house, but uh, yeah, this is very exciting. Yeah. All right, so you see the middle of the level, there is a little. People call them sniper turrets, but. We call them goss turrets. They're yes, shooting. Really to to oh, that we good. It it oh. Goss, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you can see that even, like, the rockets are really hard to steer, but. Draw can use it very strategically, because you don't necessarily need to kill the player, you just need to harass them and terrify them enough that they kind of... that they don't panic, and uh, as you can see, it, there's, again, the psychology plays, plays, a, it plays a role in this game. Oh yeah, I mean, there's the strategy All of right. the levels, there's lots of different rules, but then there's that psychological the timing tactic. of this laser. And Draken doesn't is not sure if it's gonna kill no one was sure. That was very interesting. They yeah. didn't know and they decided not to take a gamble. They oh. could have they could have pushed it, but they didn't. Wow. That was it's, really It usually pays to be cautious like that though. This one's an interesting level. Interesting level. Oh. Lots of boxes. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've never oh, seen that. Oh, and Jokin emerges from the front. Oh, and he's going to stick around to collect a bit of gold. Wow. Increasing Aww. his bonus. A very gutsy move, but he really wants to make sure that he wins this one because if Ajabo wins another set, another episode, then uh, Jokin's out of it. Oh, wow. Is he going to oh. pull ahead? Not quite. Almost. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, a lot of the race levels start with something that's a bit tricky. Just to... Keep you on the toes. Yeah, and spread people out a bit, so there's a bit more drama. Alright, so Draken's oh correctly God. noted, and Ajebo has realized that there's a laser that's going to reflect back, but Draken Ooh. sees that there's a gap in there. That's very interesting. Alright, and he's going to use that observation to really cash in. He's getting... Oh! Oh my god. Oh, he, he was getting the toggle and it looked... I guess he was gonna... He tried to hit that switch to unlock that rocket to really make sure that Ajabo couldn't catch up, but he went a bit too far and hit the mine, which is unfortunate, but he's managed to recover pretty pretty quickly. He got lucky that Ajabo... Immediately died. Yeah. I mean, there was... That's one thing is the explosions. It's a bit bewildering. They can be terrifying. Oh, 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 oh wow. Excellent Th That was some cool operating by Ajabo, because that is not, when a rocket is bearing down at you and a laser is coming and there's mines all over the place, it's not easy to pull off moves like that. But it looks like Draken, all that gold he collected, managed to secure one victory, which means that it's the next player advances to the finals. So it's all come down to this episode here. Whoever takes this one oh. moves off to the finals. And oh, they were playing for a special N++ uh, PS4. It had a custom-made decal on the PS4. It looked amazing. Yeah, there were some compliments. Oh, oh, oh wow. okay. That that can be close. So it's interesting to see. Oh no, Ajabo did manage to come out ahead. But uh, good job, Draken, not getting killed. Uh, yes, you can check out our Twitter uh, yeah, internet there's software to, uh, to see pictures of that PlayStation. Some people thought it was pretty cool. Oh, okay, so looks oh, like wow. now this level gets interesting. Let's just gloss over the level name. Sorry about that. Uh, because <laughs> once, once a few people have died, a shortcut opens up on the bottom. Ah. But then only the first person to try the shortcut can take it because he kind of seals it. They seal it behind themselves. Oh, oh, okay, and Ajabo can't quite pull that. It's a tricky rocket corner. And, all right, so Draken didn't see. There's a little shortcut there if you slide down the wall, but he maybe didn't want to risk it because... It's tricky, You yeah. can land on those. Oh, and that's a huge, huge lead. Wow. All right, so Draken needs to really be getting all the gold and making it to the exit first in these levels, which is quite difficult. Yep, and especially, I mean, this one here... There's not really a lot of tools in here. Problems by everyone. I'd like to point out that this level is actually 
been made easier twice already. <laughs> the first time, initially... This is like, this is like the story of our lives, yeah, th by the this, way. I think this is a good level design little description. Initially, all the drones were sets of four, like the middle two here. Oh my god, I don't even remember right? that and, very And then we, made, then we thinned them out, so we went two, three, four, because that... I mean, it's nice to add a bit of variety anyways, and it That's makes it true. a bit easier. But then, as you can see, the first two bends have only one mine on the inside of the corners, whereas the last two are full. Oh, wait, okay, oh, oh, oh. okay, so Jabo is trying to deny Draken that goal, because the Jabo has won, but he wanted to make sure Draken oh, couldn't come back. For it. But Draken has, and then he died, oh, oh, no, okay. That was a mistake. This is, this is pretty dramatic. I'm interested to see whether this sort of thing happens typically, because the high-level play that we're already seeing with the denying thing. Mm -hmm, I don't, yeah. I've don't. i never thought of doing that. But <laughs> you that's haven't. Nice. That's usually like your go-to I know, because it's so jerky. Yeah, I know. All right. Okay, so. So, okay. That, that wow. Well, Draken makes it. And, Thrilling. Oh, since Sudden Death is now active, so he could actually, this could be really bad for a Jabo who thought he was kind of secure. And I, oh. Oh, I can't believe it's amazing that neither of them has died in that middle part. We've never seen that when we were testing it's with us and Sean. It's very, very hard. They, again, oh, someone always dies in the middle. They make it look easy. Yeah, that is so an, it's amazing to see them uh, just glide through that like that. Oh, so Draken is making a comeback. Yeah, he's catching up, but there's only two more levels, and I'm not sure how much gold. All right, well, there is some, and if Draken get it on this, the Citizen Kane of race levels. <laughs> Good, I'm so glad that one made it in. Yes, this is... One of my something. favorite games. Very funny. We try to have silly, silly level names because, I mean, honestly, it just makes the job of making levels more entertaining and also testing them, so... Well, I think, uh... Oh, and Draken is really... This is amazing. He's... Oh, wow. he's oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh! Oh, and he doesn't manage to get away from the rocket. And if a Jabo can get this in and kill Draken with his rocket, then that's going to be pretty significant, because... Oh, Draken... Oh, but he crashes... Can Draken make it past this mine? Wow. Okay, so this... this I think Draken could make it, in which case that's pretty much even. He's managed to come back. Oh, and... And he makes it. Okay, wow. Really great advantage This is there. nuts. That was some really nice maneuvering at the end. Yep. And is it... He's ahead. Oh, wow. He's even ahead Just, of it. Okay. That's amazing. So... This is so close. Oh, here we go. The very last, the, this this one level determines who will advance to the finals versus who knows who at this point. Either a Jabo or Draken is going to be... They seem to be equally matched yeah. at this point. It's amazing. So these rotating drones... Oh, 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 oh I thought oh, Draken had just slipped and fallen, but of course not. He's, he's no, very wisely deliberate. resetting the thing that Ajebo has shown he- Oh! Yeah, no. He made it. Yeah, so these rotating drones, it's hard, I mean, it's, there are schools of thought regarding whether you want to go with the flow or against, and in yep. different scenarios it's different, the, yeah. the best answer depends, but anyways. They're tricky. They, they might not. Oh, that was a great I am, use of uh, the rocket was going after uh, Draken, and so Jabo wisely used that time. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to escape it uh, before it came back and, and killed him. But that was yeah. that was really. Amazing. That's a very good technique. The enemies in race mode will only target a single player. Whoever so, they see first. Yes, whoever they see first and is closest. But. Uh, Oh, sorry. It's just so dramatic. All right, Jabo <laughs> looks like he's maxed out his timer and bar. This jump is this very, is it's very so tough. tricky, and you only have one shot. Oh, oh. and then okay. if you That's fail, huge. you make yeah. it easy for the next person. Yeah, it, this is actually pretty, pretty big because it looks like Draken could, if Draken can make it and then kill Jabo, and it's hard to turn the rocket around, but it's possible. Then that means that he will have won. Which is, it looked like a Jabo was going to jump right in. Okay, and... Oh, oh. God, look at that one remaining mine. Well, I think in intense situations, there's a lot of adrenaline, and it's really hard. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. it's hard to imagine without feeling the controls, but when you're ru running down that hill, you have so much momentum, yeah. you really can't stop in time a lot of the yeah, time. you need to jump at precisely And that's the right too moment. bad. But it looks, and it looks like, I think Draken at this point has conceded defeat, but he's going to... 
He's going to finish Yes, anyway. and I think there was some applause back. at this point, which I we had a cool crowd out there. Look at All that. right, he good job, down. both of them. He beat that mine. Nice, and he now they're, they're saluting each other on the field of battle. But anyway, it's a J-Bo one. <laughs> nice work at J-Bo. Okay, so on. second group, semifinals. King of Defeat versus Solo Legion. And the winner will go on to face a J-Bo. And the loser will sob. <laughs> and face Strokin in the loser's bracket. Oh, yes. The loser's bracket. Oh, okay. So this we level is... Mentioned. Oh. Oh, it's so fun. It's very, very, very fast-paced. You basically <laughs> have no time to breathe. Yeah, this, um, is, this is a level... I mean, to be perfectly honest, it's it's maybe a bit too hard. This no, is this, this level is thrilling. Yeah, it's, it's so thrilling. But it's certainly the sort of level that we might include in the more challenging section. Of the yeah, game. we're gonna have like an expert mode with yeah. that. Oh, oh that because that laser, I mean, it looks rather sedate, all zoomed out. But it's, try to imagine you're a ninja. That yeah. thing is slamming right past you it's and through you. Yeah. I love these little safe zones, though. They sort of remind me of uh, the game Aladdin for Sega Genesis, which me and my little sister played a long time ago. They had, in one of the levels anyway, little areas that said, I think, rest, if I'm remembering that correctly. Anyway, we would, you know, fight our way there and then happily breathe a sigh of relief for a moment. And I'm sure that's what these ninjas are feeling. <laughs> If they manage to make it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So as, as you can see at the bottom there, one of the hard, one of the things that make this level so hard, beyond just performing it, is you need to observe or you need to be aware that. Oh boy. As you can see, yes, King of Defeat used that uh, boost pad, right. that stripey thing at the bottom, because otherwise it can be very, very difficult to uh, make it all. Oh, and King of Defeat. Tried oh. to go all the way, which we're not sure if that's possible, but anyways, he yeah. didn't manage it. It was very close. Yeah. yeah. One thing that, the, another sort of thing you have to notice in this level is the inner platforms block the laser entirely, so... It's just a line of sight thing, Yeah, right? so that gives you a little cover, so you actually can stop in the middle. Just like he did right there. Exactly. So he, maybe he just got a bit carried away and he thought he could make it. It's hard to, it's really hard to judge running distances and stuff. Oh, and you stop like, okay, now this is going to be interesting because at some point that laser is getting deleted and then it becomes a flat out sprint. And oh, that could be really bad for Solo Legion yeah, because uh, it depending on when that laser dies, it could just be nothing. Yeah, a straight okay. run right to the end. And since it's you suck mode, the first oh, person to the exit takes everything and because the other player will blow up okay, okay it's gone it's gone and then now it's okay wow and king of defeat is in the Just lead so far and he's getting a lot of breaks in terms of what's getting deleted ahead of him it's going to be interesting to see if anyone tries to make a move for the gold because if they don't make it if you don't make it to the exit first you get nothing when you suck mode is active but that's a lot of gold that's very tempting and all right it looks like he's just running for it. So it looks like King of Defeat's going to... Oh, he's, oh, he's going for the gold! Oh, my God! Oh! oh he, he did not have that kind of lead. I, and Sean reminded both players about that rule. So I guess maybe he was... in the heat of the moment. It's hard yeah, to remember. It's really hard to focus. All right, so here's a level called the Mothership. It's uh, sort of an ode to that UFO level in Spelunky. King of Defeat has the right idea here. You can actually do that. Yeah, th there's this, like... That's an amazing thing to point out. There yeah. are some secrets. So there is a secret fast path up those outside walls at the bottom part, but it's very difficult. It's incredibly difficult to pull off. Yep. Especially when you're under time pressure like this. And it's like these no one had ever seen these levels before. This was a special build just for the tournament, so there's no way. I mean, it's really so, cool that someone thought to try yeah, it. Yeah, his instincts were really great, but um, yeah. Anyway, so King of Defeat oh. is going to Hmm. Come back from, he's gonna yeah, yep. yep. So he's in the lead now, and that was actually this is close. A pretty huge difference there. Solo Legions, I don't think ever really made it out of that bottom section. Yep. But anyways, okay. all right, many different variables. This is sort of a a busy level. It's like a circus. Well, it's a like circus a of city, death, isn't it? I mean, oh yeah, a little it's, city. It's like a little uh, a little world. Yeah, a little yeah. metropolis. Yeah. Lots this is the laser laser district. It's the laser factory right yeah, yeah. there. Um, up here is uh, 
Gold, um, gold zone? <laughs> I don't know what we're calling this stuff. All right. Over so here are these the apartment blocks with floor the, chasers. The ominous blue friends. Yes. All right. So King of Defeat. Taking a bit, so the way that the gold is arranged there is you can't really fly through it. If you right. want it, you're going to have to stick around, and that's Take fine if you. Time. Yeah, you're burning your lead, but that's totally fine because the clock is not ticking until someone hits the exit. All right, which looks like it's about to happen. So this gold over here is very All dangerous. Right. He doesn't go for it. Yeah, I don't think probably wise. I don't think we'll see either player going for that gold because I've only just figured out a route in and out of it. Yeah, it's, and I've I mean, tried it several times. You can times. see those mines there. It, it makes it right. So oh, even harder. Oh. He got yeah. cut down. That's a shame. It's too bad. I, like again, I think Soul Legion is, is getting stuck at the in the first half of the levels. Maybe just because King of Defeat, it can be really devastating when someone is like really far ahead. You're like, how Especially, am I gonna catch up? I mean, you know they finished. You know, yeah. You have to finish, or you get. That's nothing. your one last chance. Yeah, it's yeah. very tense. Oh, oh! Wow. I don't actually know who that was going for, but it can actually be a great strategy to hang back. And try to let like there are a few levels where you can get those to shoot and take your take your opponents out. Oh, oh and it's yeah, a it's a very up. very tricky jump. The higher jump, you have a greater chance of being shot, but it's a lot easier to pull off. That low one is oh. You really okay. have to your opponent. Wow, I thought this is it's a it's a game of back and forth in this one. Yep. Are we it's, it's pretty interesting that they're each they're sort of 180 degrees out of phase with each other, like in the level. It is interesting. We're taking turns. All right, here we go. Oh, oh I was I was, I was wondering if King of Defeat was going to hit any of those toughest. Uh-oh. Oh okay. So this is the thing. Sometimes if you hesitate, all is lost. So King of Defeat wisely decides to try again. Yeah, he's not going for it. He's not going for anything. Let's see Soul Allegiance. Oh, so oh, yep. Yeah, oh. He, if you if, if he hadn't hesitated, he may he would have had a good chance of making it. But now I'm not sure if Soul Allegiance can come back from this. There is a lot of gold in this level, but it's also really hard to make it out of there alive. That's true. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the thing about this level. There's not much room, and there's get, like those chasey dudes. All right, so Soul wow. Legion, if he can, if Soul Legion can get the gold and make it to the exit first, he could win it oh here. And oh, oh, okay, oh, wow. That's so that bad. is really. Oh, it's crushing. That's that's sad. that's. that's but that was it. amazing. Like, that was so close. He almost came from, a, like, that would have been a huge upset. But anyways, so King of Defeat is up by one now? Um, yes. All right, so. So there's one more, potentially two more games. Yes, in this best two of three semifinals. And That's then right. the, the winner will advance to the finals and face Ajabo. Yes. All right, so it looks like we've selected an episode. Oh, so I'm not sure if we've seen thwumps before, but there are sort of moving platforms and sort of enemies. There are a cousin of thwumps in the Mario series. Though. Very distant and completely uh, non-copyright involved. Absolutely. Relatives. I don't know if there's any genetic similarities. Probably not. I mean, they don't even have a face, so there's, yeah. that's one. They were just raised by the same parents. Oh, dear. So they call oh. Anyways, so they're not actually related. <laughs> yeah. I believe uh, Soul Allegiance was going for the gold that, there. That could have been, that, that's enough gold to be decisive, and it's worth risking it, but the thing about it is, you need to get it and then suicide, right. or you'll be crushed. Yeah. yeah, because if someone hits the exit while you're stuck in that chimney, then you're not respawning and it's all for nothing. Right. Anyways, I'm sorry, so King of Defeat, taking an early lead here. So this level clockness uh, indicates which way is easier to traverse these laser turrets? If you go with their clockness, this is a terrible explanation, uh, then it's a lot easier. If you try to go the opposite direction to the way that they're turning, it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get through. Yeah. So, in order to get any gold, you have to take a, a long, you have to loop through twice. Anyway, King of Defeat takes wow. it. Unfortunately, Soul Allegiance Yeah, I think that was pretty, like, that was a. That last level of the first episode was really that was tough. Oh, this is a tricky level. So yeah, this is something. You never really know where the lasers are coming. Yeah, no, no one has seen this sort of thing before either, uh, in end. So they don't probably 
there's no experience yeah. with this sort of thing. The, like the timing <clears throat> for the sliding versus falling would, is completely new at this point. So That's right. And you're, it's you're very tricky to stay is, in there. You have to oh. keep pulling off the wall just like he, he just did. Yeah. Very, very well done. I think that one could use a bit more gold. But, that is a list. Yeah. All right, so King of Defeat played it safe, didn't go for the gold, and secured. Now it's looking decisive, but I mean, this one, if Soul Legion can make it in there, then I think he'd be in the lead at this point. That's a lot of gold. Oh, but it looks like it got cleared out for King of Defeat, who's going to capitalize on that. Oh, oh wow. yeah, and he's so, taking, He's he's got about half of it. If he wins and, at this point... Okay, he's just going to try to make it. I don't know if Soul Allegiance... Yeah, I don't think Soul Allegiance... Oh, but well now it's going to be really hard. It's because oh, King of Defeat wisely decided, instead of trying to get all that gold, to just, just play it safe. Whatever's convenient. Yeah, grab grab the money and run kind of thing. Yeah, and exactly. And turn into a rocket. And I guess, did, did he jump on a mine there, Soul Allegiance, or did he run out of time? I missed that. Uh, there was a rocket coming out. I think he may have... It, it was a mine. Anyway. Wow. So even if he gets all that gold, it's not going to save him, unfortunately. Yep. But that's just the way it goes when there's a couple early levels that are have a significant score difference. That's right. It's possible to come back sometimes, and sometimes maybe you just try to finish in yeah, like, a classy way. Especially, you need to, like, in order to really come back, you need to be denying your opponent victories. If you can get a rocket and get them to lose all of their bonus for that level and score zero, then that can help. But if you don't Definitely. do that, it's it's a lot harder to come back. That's a very good point. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, but okay. That's nice. So, King of Defeat. Oh, oh too bad. To all right. Up, but unfortunately... Yeah, this, that's a tricky one. to put. The exit is sort of a hazard sometimes if you're trying to go for gold. So, it looks like King of Defeat wins the second batch semi-finals in two games. So he's moving beating, on to the final finals. Beating Soul Legion. All right, so the very finals. This is the loser's oh. bracket. It's Soul I'm Legions sorry. versus Draken. They're playing for a plus plus megaphone, which we yes. were not allowed to use at the Indie Mega Booth. It's, we didn't know that. It's mint. It has literally never been used because we were not allowed to use it. We stuck some plus plus stickers on it, and it's N plus plus. It's the only one that it's, there will ever be. All black with hot pink pluses. Really classy. He takes the first match. All right. That was kind of a, an easier, quote unquote, easier starting level. Now things are going to get interesting. So in this level, there's a switch just to the right of uh, where Solo Legion landed there. And it's quite difficult to get to and survive, but if you do, you can deny whoever's in the lead all that gold. Because if you hit that switch, that wall opens, and it's impossible to get, as far as we know, it's impossible to get that gold without that rocket killing you. Okay, whoa, whoa. Soul Legion. So that's a tricky crossing right there. He did very and, well. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it, he managed it, but then you just have to recover at the end of it, right. and that can be difficult. Yep. Everybody's playing it slow and steady. Yep. Oh. So it looks like Solo Legion's... Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's really only one window through there, that middle part. Yeah. Perhaps we should uh, signpost it with some gold or something. Uh, I think, I think people will figure it out. I think the main thing is, um, even though these levels were quite hard, harder oh. than the qualifiers, um... People still seem to be having a good time. Like, there were a lot of really tense moments, and the crowd was really into it. Oh, there we go. Soul Legion's figured it. Nice. Yes, you're right. It, it's, it's, I'm amazed, because when we were testing these levels, we were really, some of them were really frustrating, but everyone seemed to be happy, which is nice. Like, I'm, I, one thing that I think I speak for the whole team, we're, we're really glad to see the response that we got at PAX, because we didn't really know how people would react. All right, all right, so, sorry. Soul Legion's. Got a bit of gold, and now... Very nice. If Draken can make it, 
that's gonna, I mean, he might even come out ahead. But anyways, thanks to everyone. We're really glad that uh, everyone's digging the new race mode. It's and the, the power of television, so, people. So nice to yeah. see. It's really, really great. We've kind of been in a cave for two years. Oh! Oh! oh what? I, what did he even do? Oh, he, it was Bam. mine. Uh, what are you supposed to do, though? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, okay, really close. All right, I can't believe Draken... Well, anyways, okay, so one thing about this level is that... Yes, ah, so First Solo all, Legion's figured it take out. Take a look at the name, Inter Intermittence. Very, yeah. very funny. I wonder what it means. I don't know. But anyway... Uh, so Actually, I don't Legion. know what it means. <laughs> sorry, is Solo, what were you saying? Solo Legion's figured it out. Oh, uh, yes, yes. That little two lines at the bottom is a jump pad, which will boost you upwards as a shortcut. Oh, oh dear. Solo Legion's gets cut down. And Draken's taking the lead here. I that information and then uh, used it to his advantage. Yeah, because I think he didn't, you're right, he didn't see it. Then Solo Legion saw it and Draken learned. But that's the thing, learning from your opponents is a valid tactic. Absolutely. In this, as in all things. All right, so, Draken taking the early lead. Now these weird chaos drone floor levels can be quite, I mean, we mentioned drone blindness. That's, this is a prime example of where drone blindness can set it. And a, yeah. a rocket added to this situation, almost impossible in the hands of an experienced rocketeer. I yeah. mean, Draken's not experienced, but he's picked it up pretty good. Yeah, he's played a, a few games at PAX now. Yeah, it's so open there yeah. that it's that's what Sean likes to call rocket. rocket murder time. That's when right, Sean yeah. sees a wide, wide open expanse like that, that's what he, says. he calls rocket murder time, and it looks like that's what Draken did right there. Yep. All right, so uh, if you'll notice, Draken, since he's in so far of a lead, started with less of a bonus. And that means that if Soul Legions can get all this gold, there's a chance that he will win it. Um, although it's more likely that Draken will win it. Oh, and especially if... No one can make it around that last now. Now, you see, this is the nature of the toggle mine. Sometimes it's better to go slowly and even right. let the other player go first because if they make a mistake, you can capitalize. All right, so he's dropping. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I didn't. I, maybe he was trying to get that gold, or maybe he was being his usual jerky self and just trying to hit all those toggles. Yeah, that might so be. Like, it that's. Too. I mean, that's good strategic play, but uh, it's also it's a risk. Well, oh. The karma, you know. <laughs> Comes yes, back to beat you. it so, does. As you can maybe see, I'm not sure, but these jumps are quite hard. The yeah, angle, this is an incredibly moving uphill. Even making it past the first third of this level requires incredible dexterity and, and, and then skill. The spacing in the mines at the end is all right. Very very tricky. It looks like Draken is not going to go for the gold. He's just taking the easy win, shutting Soul Legions down. All right. Draken takes it. And Draken is the winner. So that's the loser bracket. Draken wins a sweet megaphone. Thank you for playing both of you. Yep. I wish we had a megaphone for everyone. Yeah. Well, maybe next year. Yeah, we're planning on doing more tournaments because this is so much fun. Um, anyway. Not necessarily this part, but the tournament part was awesome. The tournament part. Yeah. All right. Finals. Final finals. Here we go. So. A Jabo versus King of Defeat. Two this is really, it. really great players, awesome people. This game is going to rock. So again, two out of three. Whoever wins two episodes wins the PlayStation 4 and the title. And of course, a lot of like personal satisfaction. Here we go. All King right. of Defeat purple, a Jabo pink. Okay, it looks like King of Defeat. Taking out, oh, taking out the mines early. Okay, so Jake this is just trying to keep a clear it's looking head. like King of Defeat. That's a bit of a rough start. Maybe he's uh, tense. It's the yeah, final. that's true. Like I had a lot. I was like jittering. I can't. Like yeah, the adrenaline really sets in, folks. The when crowd, there's a crowd, yeah, it's it, terrifying. Everyone is feeling this feeling um, much more strongly than you do personally. Somehow, I don't oh. know, weird crowd thing. Yeah, it is a weird crowd thing. But it looks like a Jabo manages to get through that landing part. I mean, as it's, it's you could so see, tricky. yeah, it it really is not not as easy as a Jabo made it look. And the king of he's defeat taking, is not giving up. No, that's nice. Now that gold. It's hard to say it, whether it's worth it. It's definitely possible to get, but it's not easy. It's very It's, it's tricky, a risk. For you're, sure. you're putting your life wow, in hands. Wow, and he does it too. Amazing. Yep, these are some some really, really yeah. great players, great strategies. Yeah, so King of Defeat, he he was he's fifty percent off. Yep. He would have had zero, but instead he's about half of what a Jabo has. So that's a pretty good yeah. um, 
That was worth it. Yep, definitely. It's it's great that he finished. All right, so there's a bit another one of those an incredibly complex number of drones, which we may see go into you suck mode. Yeah, we'll have to see how this plays out. Yeah. I don't actually remember. No, nor do I. It's quite tricky. That middle part, there are just so few windows, and they're it's very hard to see who's coming from where. Yeah. And the nature of the, these drones in particular is that since the spaces they're moving through are different lengths, the pattern is always shifting, it's not stable, and they're going in and out of phase with each other. So if you find a route through once, that doesn't guarantee it's ever going to exist again. That's right. It, you really have to improv and sort of think on your feet, and it's very, very difficult. Uh, there will be easier versions of this, but for, you know, a tournament, we thought these people are experts. We better give them the full difficulty to take. Yeah, we don't. Uh, take it easy. Yeah, we don't want to take it easy on people. That's just not our style. No way. All right. So this is. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, too yeah, bad. That would have been that big. That happens a lot too. Deaths in quick succession. Um, even when we play internally, because sometimes the zap sound and the you know the noticing that some your opponent has just died kind of throws you a little bit. Oh know? yeah, it's a big. It's kind of a jolt because you you realize. I mean. Oh, You're so far ahead now to just hang on. But then also, you know that that one enemy has tasted blood and That's probably right. is going to kill you. you. Yeah. yeah. They can't actually do that. But it, I mean, <clears throat> it definitely feels like they can. And this game is all about the feel. All right. Oh, oh. And again. Yeah, that's really interesting. I had no, not really noticed that, but you're right. That totally happens. Okay, you oh, suck, man. Now, this is where it gets interesting. As you can see, enemies are being deleted one per second. And as soon as one player hits the exit, the other will explode, getting nothing, which means that this is a pretty big and decisive moment. Oh, oh okay. Now, this is this will be huge for Jabo. If he can secure it, he'll have a huge lead. Come on, Jabo. Oh, and... Oh, wow. oh, King of Defeat. Wow. There. Oh, but look, he... Yeah, oh. he came back. Oh yes, oh. that's a bug that we haven't yes. fixed yet, which is Sorry. that in you suck mode, you can still respawn. You respawn and, immediately. yeah, you immediately blow up. Uh, we'll fix that. We'll but we'll it, is, it is kind of funny, but it's a bug. Okay, crisp crossing. Yeah. Another new one, obviously, these, these lasers. So these lasers kind of give you another, uh, it's sort of like drone blindness, only it's laser, laser blindness. blindness. Yeah. yeah. Because it's very difficult to predict. I think that might just be regular blindness. <laughs> it could be, could be. Lasers will do that. Anyway, it's difficult to predict when they're gonna pop up. Okay, wow, King of Defeat. Okay. Yeah, no problems with it. Oh, oh, okay, wow. that's pretty big. Now this is this is really interesting. King of Defeat is always keeping his he's kept it within half. He's now like two thirds of what a Jabo is. That's amazing. So quite a comeback. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh wait. Okay. I didn't know what level was coming next, but uh Oh, this is going to be tricky. I mean, if, you can, if someone can manage to get a good amount of gold, that's going to pretty much secure them the game, but you, you have to make it to the exit to get the gold, and right. it's hard. It can be hard. Oh. I mean, of course, you can do it iteratively. I guess that's one aspect of the one-on-one, -on -one, is that if the other player is that far in the level, then you can actually burn some lives, some time, just uh, clearing things out. That's true. To go for it. But uh, it's risky. But anyways... Precise jumping you're seeing here. Oh dear. Needed a bit more precision there. I kid, it's really tough. Jabo, yep, he makes it to the exit. Okay. Can he get the rocket around? It's a bit tricky. Okay. Oh, 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 oh I see. Oh, he's, he's pulling this strategy. He's pulling a Sean. <laughs> so that's it's okay. So one thing that's tricky, oh, oh, yeah, even just psychologically knowing that you have to make it through there can be yeah. hard, but, but there is another, that other way, it's just hard. And yeah. it's actually, when you're in that spin, it's hard to pull out of a spinner's rocket. Now, this level, shooting range, is so named because, as you can see, those new enemies you can kind of shove in whatever direction, and you can use them to kill the players if one of you sticks around. But it looks like they're both just going straight for the exit, which is interesting, because... If one, I wonder if one of them, I mean, if King of Defeat loops, he could take it, but maybe he's not going to risk it. Oh, and there. Oh, wow. That's a good, that was a really good play. Yeah. Wow, and now he's come back, because uh, 
you can't go in anywhere. Yeah. And you have no it's choice. Sudden death. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my oh, god. I remember when this happened. The yeah, whole that's... crowd like erupted in. Whoa. That's amazing. So good. That's probably the best thing we've seen happen that's so far. That's very, very so close. So King of Defeat wins by only a few frames over a J-Bo thanks to some really good rocket work at the end. And so he's up one game. And this, again, a best two to three. Best two of three. Final for the N++ PAX tournament. This is very exciting. It all comes down to this and maybe the next one. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I selected this episode this time because Sean asked for the fourth level in this set. Sean specifically requested that we play it. It's a good one. It's and it's a, a very good one. It's an interesting one. Uh, all right. Oh. But anyways, King of Defeat is up one. He dies one immediately. Match. And now King of Defeat is going for, because oh, he's going around. There, you only get a few te attempts in the middle, and you can actually get stuck there. It's sometimes safer. Oh, oh as boy. you can see now, a J-Bo, you can still make it, but it's tough. And he's not even going to go for it, because King of Defeat is almost there. As you can see, sometimes the best strategy is to take the easier. Okay, steady, now steady, right? a J-Bo. Now this is it. tough. Okay, and he and King of Defeat has the rocket. Oh, oh. and a J-Bo. It's not... We have, there's a game called Rocket, Paper, Scissors we play in these situations where really what's happening is, does the ninja jump or not? And the rocket kind of has to guess beforehand. That's right. Because it's very hard to, uh, to ride the middle. You have to sort of commit or the ninja can get around. But it looks like not that time. Yep, it's very, very interesting to see that strategy play out. Do you jump as the ninja? Do you not jump? It's a, it's a cool game of chicken. But I actually prefer the name Rocket Paper Scissors a good deal. All right, so J Bo. All right, so this is good. He's coming back. He's feeling good about this. Yeah, if he can. All right, perfect. Okay. And he denied. Well, King of Defeat denied himself any points, which means that a J Bo is oh now my God. taking the lead after the second level. I'm very, very close. All lead. right. There's still three levels to go. Oh. Anybody could take this one. All right, so this is this is one of these quite challenging fundamentals levels where really it's all about precision jumping and momentum control. Uh, it's going to be interesting if anyone goes for the goal because if either player goes for the goal that could be decisive. However, it's quite difficult. Uh, oh, looks like already right, Jabo's going for it. And oh, he, he hit the ground a bit too hard and he died. That's something we haven't seen a lot of in the finals uh, because the players are so experienced. But there is fall damage in N and Jabo Suffers the consequences of not wall sliding there. Yeah. But still, if he can just make it to the exit, he's going to come out ahead. Even even if King of Defeat makes it there first, but someone's got to make it to that exit. And it's not easy. No, Those top jumped. platforms are difficult. And this last... Oh my goodness. Yeah, that last jump is very, very tricky momentum-wise. You have to kind of accelerate in midair, and you can't go too fast or you'll run into the top one. That's right. The, the positioning is very tricky. Also, these little tiny triangles are, oh, it's just oh, that's too bad. so hard to get a good grip on them. And you don't even, I mean, you're on them on these platforms for a fraction of a second, but any false move and you got to start all over again, as Jabo is noting. Oh, it's sudden death? Oh, sudden death. King of Defeat oh, made King it through to the exit. It. And now, Jabo, he could still be in the lead if he manages to make it there. But it's going to be very hard with a rocket on him. He's going to have to try to lose that rocket. Oh, oh and there he, there he goes. Okay, so he's still okay. If he can make it to the exit in the next 10 or 20 seconds, then he's it's going to be tied. Right. Yeah. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. Can he wall jump up there? He probably can, can he? Uh, I don't know. I think we may have tilted things so that uh, wall jumping is not an option in this one. But that's a good idea for a new... <laughs> okay, so now it comes down to this... Can he make it? And oh. no! Now that's huge. If he had made it, it would have been tied. Oh, but boy. now he's facing a, a not insignificant deficit with only two levels left, and there's not much gold in this next level. No. He's going to have to really make sure he, he uh, makes it there first and denies King of Defeat. So this level's interesting. If you hit the floor or the ceiling too hard and end, you die. So this is kind of a game of chicken with yourself where you want to be falling and jumping as fast as you can, but if you jump a bit too fast, you die. That's and right. So, so far, people have been playing it safe here. That was a bit risky on Ajabo's part. I'm a, a wow, and that was super risky. I, I'm amazed King of Defeat didn't die from that. That seems... Good. 
Jay-Bo's check the code there. But anyways, all right, Jabo, if he can, oh, oh, if he could have denied it, that would have been huge. He, he would have been in the lead, but now yeah. I think it's pretty Everybody much finishes. tied. Oh, this is so tense. Yeah, that's that would have been huge. Wow. Okay, so this game. Oh, he just slightly pulled ahead. All right. Yeah. Insane. Amazing. So this is awesome. If King of Defeat wins, then King of Defeat is the champion of the tournament. However, a Jabo could win this and make it go into the third match. All right. So. Ajaybo, early lead, but he's going for that gold. He just he wants to make sure he wins. However, one problem with this level is there are toggle mines under those, which means ah uh, yes, if someone goes through first, that's a real disadvantage. And I'm afraid, Ajaybo, there's no way to know that, and I feel a bit bad for him. That's a bit of a mean level, but. Anyways, oh, 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 and could could this end with a rocket? Oh my god. No, oh. it ends with a toggle. And that was the oh. one that Ajabo himself triggered earlier. Is that irony? Crushing defeat. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know, but it must have really okay, hurt. Okay, well that was dramatic anyways. So thanks for watching. Uh, we hope to have more of these. Congratulations, King of Defeat. Uh, yeah, we will be running more tournaments, and N++ will be out on PS4 as soon as we can get it there. Thank you again.